Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Tim Hammy, First Assembly of God in Burlington, Kansas. It is September 4th. I hope you're having a good morning so far, and I hope you're blessed. I hope you uh, uh, are ready for a Tuesday as we get this uh, um, day, day, day started. It is um, just... Uh, I don't know, it's just, uh, uh, when you think about devotions, and I just want to talk about this, what, why is it so important to get in the Word of God and devotions, and you know, the when I was younger, I, I was part of this group called Awanas, I, and uh, Awanas was to, you know, study to show yourself approved, you know, and a workman study to show yourself approved. And I, Thought, man, getting the word of God is is kind of like part of um, your daily. I wouldn't say routine because routines get kind of mundane and kind of wearisome. But getting in the word of God is so needed, so um, important to just daily get uh, your Bible on it. Let's let's just part of uh, one of my youth pastors growing up said you know get getting in the word is is so important like getting dressed every morning so anyways today's verse uh one of my friends posted this verse yesterday uh psalms 121 1 uh says this i lift up my eyes to to the hills from where does my help come from and i was thinking that, about that verse this morning that, that he posted yesterday and, and i was like wow that's pretty interesting my i lift my eyes up to the hills from where does my help come from and when i when i thought about that um it's so important why would i lift my eyes to the hills um my hill the, my my help doesn't come from the hills my help comes from the lord no matter what circumstance you go through you, you look to higher ground higher place the the Lord talks about throughout Scripture. There was a the, where does you, where do you build your faith on the solid rock and, and hills, higher points. Um, if there's flooding, um, I was reading last night that Manhattan is dealing with some flooding. So higher points. Um, so when you begin to think about where does your help come from higher places God when you're going through circumstances you don't go to the places where you know you're not going to get any help you go to the places where you're going to get help you don't go to a place full of sickness to get help you go to a hospital well they do have sicknesses but they help you too so my, my thing is as I was reading that verse this morning, I lift my eyes to the hills. I lift my eyes up to heaven. From where does my help come from? So my question for you this morning is, as I'm pondering this passage of scripture, where does your help come from? Where does in whatever circumstances you may be going through. Maybe you're not going through any circumstances. I always assume that the people, someone that I'm talking to this morning may be going through some circumstances. Maybe you're not going through anyone, anything and you're just inquisitive or just one of the, the faithful watcher, watches, watchers of, of this devotional. But, um, but here's the deal is, there's going to be some time that we may go through a sermon, but where do you turn to? Where does your faith turn you to? Do you automatically go to a place that questions your faith? Or do, do you turn to your strong faith in the Lord and say, I, can, I trust the Lord with all my heart, mind, and soul, and I can make it through? And that your faith is not wavered. So I just want to encourage you today that 
you know, I love this verse. It's in the English Standard Version. That it says, I lift up my eyes to the hill. From where does my help come from? So, and, and it ends with, where does my heart come from? It's a, it's a question. So today, where does your help come from? Does it come from this, uh, what's in your wallet? You know, the old commercial, what's in your wallet? That doesn't save you. That doesn't help you. It might help you for a moment. Or does, uh, where does your help come from? I mean, people can surround you and they can be your help for a moment, but uh, they leave you too. You know, they let you down. But I've learned throughout life that the Lord never lets us down. And so, I mean, so when you think about it, so where does your help from? It says, this verse says, I look to the hills and, and where does my help come from? So that's what you need to ask yourself is, is where does your help come from? Because even even if we say say to ourselves, my help comes from myself. Well, even in, even in that thinking, we let ourselves down quite a bit. I mean, we can, but the Lord never really lets us down. If you really think about it, we can continue. You know, really have faith that firm foundation uh, on the Lord. I mean, that's that's really where it comes to. Um, so just just want to encourage you in that. Think about that. Where does your where does your help come from? So this is a Bible study. So get out your notebook, write this out. Psalms one twenty one one where it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills from where does my help come from? Write it out. Put an O, observe it, A, apply it to your life, P pray, and uh prayer request today is Abby of course she's in Panama we I talked to her yesterday she's just uh, getting busy with some of the work that she's doing she's told me about a lot of different things she's gonna be doing uh, expanding her calendar on that but uh, just uh, believing that God's gonna use her big time uh, have an unspoken that uh, I, that uh, I need God just to intervene on so uh, so let's pray Lord I thank you for those who are watching now and those who are watching later I pray that you give them a great Tuesday I pray that you encourage their heart that Lord God that we look to the hills that you are where our help comes from today that Lord that you continue to bless us as we walk through this day may we be a blessing to those that we come in contact with Lord in your name be with Abby as as she's in Panama, be, keep her safe, Lord, as she works to the day. And Lord, I pray for this unspoken, that Lord, that you just intervene. And that Lord, that you know what needs to happen. We thank you for it in your name. Amen. Have a blessed day. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have an awesome, awesome day. Be blessed.